Hey Super Hard Fam and guests, today we're diving into a survival guide like no other. Imagine you find yourself in the eeriest, most monotonous place imaginable. No, not math class, the back rooms. An endless labyrinth of yellow walls, humming fluorescent lights, and a vibe that screams creepy office from the 80s. But don't fret, because we've got a survival plan. And it's not just any plan. We're talking about a survival guide inspired by military SEER training. That's right. We're talking the elite survival, evasion, resistance, and escape techniques and putting them to the test in the back rooms. So for those that don't know what the back rooms are, here's a very quick description. The back rooms are a never ending maze of rooms and hallways. They look like an old weird office with yellow walls and buzzing lights that never turn off. It feels like you're walking in circles, and it's super creepy and strange. It's like being stuck in a place where everything looks the same, and you can't find your way out. Okay, with that out of the way, time to talk about seer training. Hmm. Step one is to blend in with your surroundings. Now, Papa Bones has a top-notch idea for this. Why not peel off some of that yellow wallpaper and stick it to yourself? Then you can camouflage with the walls! <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh, but how can you get that wallpaper to stick to you? Uh, oh, here's a thought! Just peel some of it off, give it a good old lick, and slap it on! Sure, licking old wallpaper glue might make you a bit loopy, but think about it. Wandering the back rooms while being a bit out there sounds way better than sitting afraid, waiting to Okay, step two. Attempt to reach out. Try to communicate secretly using signals and Morse code. So, where would we... Hey, maybe those flickering lights have secret messages in them. Better yet, can we mess with the lights to send our own Morse code message? Imagine flickering your way to a rescue. That would be great. So, quick recap. Thanks to SEER training, we are now... Hmm. We've licked glue and checked blinking lights for secret messages. Uh, guys, I'm beginning to doubt the expert training of our military. Time for step three, prepare for long-term survival. All right, things are getting serious. You need to think about food. The wallpaper probably looks pretty tasty now that you're in the licking phase, but let's be real. It's probably not nutritious. And what about fluids? Let's see what the manual says. Hmm. Oh, if you can't find water, you can drink your own p Well, Super Heart family, now you know how to survive the back rooms. Don't forget to like, and if you have any more survival tips, or better ones, but I mean, really, how can they be better than seer training? Comment them below. Until next time, take good care of yourself. Bye!